Hello everybody. Um, my name is Katrina Benson and I haven't did a video with um regarding the things God showed me in a second. I um been recently posting on Facebook. So but for this dream, um God wanted me to broadcast it to everyone who could hear it. Today is June 14th, 2013. I went into this dream somewhere around 8.30 a.m. this morning. Um, sleep fell upon me. I was in this dream for three hours um, in the natural. And I was in, it was three hours in the supernatural as well. So, meaning five minutes here on earth was five minutes in the dream. So, I was in this dream during real time so the, the the contents that i'm about to share with you all happened in three hours time um okay um the dream started with a regular normal day me and my family was uh planning to take a trip or vacation um the dream was like a normal day for everybody and things like that nothing out of the ordinary um on the news in the dream it said that a storms were coming and these storms were coming in the form of uh, a series of clouds meaning it was a storm coming but it was clouds coming i don't know exactly how many clouds god didn't give me that number but um, it's like, um, it was like Passover storms. Like a cloud will come. And when that cloud leaves, it'll be like bright sunny day and another cloud will come. So the, the news was reporting that it's a series of storms coming. And um, on June 13, 2013, here in the DMV, we had a series of uh Storms come in just like that where uh, clouds came bringing, uh, bringing storms through each storm cloud. And um, God let me know yesterday that that was a warning. Uh, so back to this dream. So the meteorologist said storms was coming. Um, none of us on earth thought anything of, you know, the storm. Like we nobody thought, you know, like, uh, you know, uh, like it's going to be bad or anything like that. Uh, we just figured regular storms. Anyway, when the first cloud came over, it was like this cloud came with like wind, like hurricane fast wind, like somewhere around 250 miles per hour. It was winds that was knocking down buildings, like flipping cars, wiping people away. It was a horrible wind. But in the dream, the people of God wasn't affected by these winds. It's like these winds wiped out certain people, certain areas. Like everybody who was affected, it was meant for them to be affected. It wasn't no accident. So this storm passed over and more clouds coming. God didn't allow me to see what each cloud Okay. It was a little pause. God didn't allow me to see what each cloud brought with storms. He only let me see the first one and the one before the last. So through the course of this dream, I'm going on regular day, regular day, you know, and all this catastrophe is happening on earth, but me, my family, and other people, are, you know, uh, the people of God not being touched by the storm. Um, so God also allowed me to see in the dream when the storm was predicted to come, he allowed me to see these group of people who went into this room and they started praying to him, Lord, 
send something that would shake up the world and bring repentance and that would stop all the evil in the land or put a halt to it. And in a dream, when they prayed this, I heard the Lord say in my spirit, wrath. And when I heard that in the dream, I was like, I got to get to my family. I got to get to my family. His wrath coming. And um, I'm trying to get to my family. And that's when I'm seeing like these winds and what the clouds were, what the first cloud brought. The other clouds, I didn't see what they brought. So I can't tell you that. I knew they were coming and what was happening. I mean, I knew they were coming and they was doing something, but God didn't allow me to see that part. Um, so in a dream, I'm going through like normal time and all that stuff. I'm still, I'm seeing things. I'm seeing like how the people of God is going on with life, like all untouched by what was happening on the earth. Um, the, la the cloud that came before the last, God allowed me to see it. Um, I wasn't there. I was kind of like seeing it in a spiritual form or something. And I was by the dock, like a, 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 a boat dock. And I saw people standing out there. And these people look Korean. That's the thing, too. These clouds were affecting the world. Like, this, these storms were affecting the world, not just DMV. Um, so it was like Korean people, and they were standing there. And this cloud came over, and everything froze. I saw how the water froze by the dock. Um, people were freezing. Everything was frozen instantly. It's like this cloud brought this this cloud brung a chill that froze everything in its path. Um, I Lord the Lord allowed me to hear in this dream two people conversation. One lady said to another lady, once that cloud passed over the freezing cloud. She said, is this the last of everything? And the other lady said, no. The last the last storm cloud is the worst of them all. And that's when I woke up. Um, God wanted me to share this dream as a warning that is wrath coming to the world. This, the, the storm, it's going to actually be storm. But these storms also um, represent trials and tribulations that's coming. Um, it's going to be such perilous times, more worse than more worse than today. And they're going to happen, and they're going to happen in like seasons. Um, it's going to happen. It's going to seem like we got a little break. It's going to happen. It's going to seem like we got a little break. And that's how it's going to happen. But before we get to the last you know, big thing, God going to rapture his people. So my dream ended after the cloud before the last happened because after that is when God going to take his people. Because if he don't take his people at that point, no one will survive that last storm. That's the shakeup. That's the ultimate shakeup. Has any of these clouds passed, came over the, over the world yet? Not yet. What we are seeing now are warning. You are seeing stuff happening to your neighbors, uh, people, you know, across states and things. All those are warning. God don't want you to uh, look at it as it can't happen to me. He's actually warning you, and he's telling everybody to line up with his will before this, this, this series of wrath come upon the earth. Um, it is his wrath is here and it is doing things, but this wrath that's coming, that's ultimately the end. It's not, it didn't happen yet, but it's coming and it's coming real, real soon. Um, this is the time for everybody to get a relationship with Christ for themselves. Um, get a prayer life, get to know him for yourself because in the days ahead, it's going to be hard to get to a church house. And when these certain storms and certain tribulations come, trials come, you're going to need to be able to pray. Because it's not going to be easy to get to a church in the days ahead. Get your prayer life up. Get your prayer life up. When you go to church and you had an opportunity to go, learn something that will keep you. And also pray and get to know Christ for yourself. These are the last days with the chosen generation. It's going to happen in our time. Love y'all.
keep that faith, man.